Welcome to another episode of Waffle TV. I'm Sean McDonald, and across from me, I've got mind reading extraordinaire, mm. Colin McLeod. Hello. You bring in kills to the fringe this I year. am indeed. Are yes. you going to kill it? Uh, I really hope so. Fingers yeah. are well and truly crossed. Yeah. So we shall uh, we shall see. And then you're coming back from a sold out um, string of events from last year's fringe. Congratulations. Thank you. How's it going now? Are you are you ready? ready yeah. To yeah. Difficult, stroke exciting second album, right? Yeah. So uh, last year, I mean, I had no idea what to expect, but the the show was kind of Sherlock themed, and I thought, you know, we'll do it kind of you know small scale to see what the audience Three reaction is. <laughs> exactly right. I know, I know. Uh, but I had another show as well, so I didn't want to you know yeah, yeah. embarrass too much and. It completely sold out, as you said. After yeah. the first week, it was packed, and we right. the extra shows Don't sold out. <laughs> so I know I was I was thrilled and delighted. So yeah, it it was, you know, nice motivation to come back with an even better show this Wait, year. So then, so tell us what is the what is the setup for this year? What can we expect? Yeah, well, as I touched on it there. I mean, essentially, my concept was if you were going to go spend an hour with the real life Sherlock Holmes, what would you like? What would you want? Yeah, exactly. What would what would he What's do? What's my favorite color? <laughs> exactly, right? Pink. I can tell. Well, um, got it. So uh, it, that was the that was the inspiration. I've always loved Sherlock Holmes mm -hmm. and the books since I was a child, and uh, I thought, well, no one's really tackled that before. My background is forensic science. I yeah. specialized in criminal profiling at university. So oh, wow. I thought, well, that's impressive. Thank you are modern day Sherlock Holmes. Well, 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 within the entertainment context, certainly now. And uh, so really, it was, it was a case of taking that, that concept, upscaling it, yeah. and also now this year's show has a twist of not just Sherlock, but what would Moriarty do if he oh. was on the show as well? That's the title. The battle of two. <laughs> Kills, absolutely. And then so is it it's audience participation? It is. The entire are... show is audience participation, but not everyone comes up on stage. Yeah. So like people will take part of their seat and they'll think things and I'll I think you look at them and you're like, elephant. Exactly, right? Which sure it was is. there. So you're as good as me. That's incredible. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, what I was thinking. Who knew? That's your video. Um, but yeah, so no one's made to feel embarrassed. No one's dragged up on stage mm -hmm. against their will. Everyone that's involved is willing. Yeah, it's because they want to be involved. I mean, everyone's picked at random, but then it's up to them whether or not. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing worse than going to a show and being forced on the stage yeah. when you don't want to be. So there's none of that. But no, everyone feels involved, and it is a real, you know, it's an experience. It's fun. It's funny, and uh, in places, it's quite deadly. Wicked. So give us a little sneak preview. Read my mind. Do something. What do, do something. You know, what, what do you want? Any. Anything. Go um, for it. I can see clearly you've got an iPhone charger plugged into the wall there. So you've got an iPhone, yes? I do. I just yes or no, does it have a lock on it? I do have a lock. You do have a lock. Lock so your just, phones, people. Yeah, not just Safety the thumbprint first. ID. You have an actual combination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just For everyone watching, have you told me what that code is? No. No. Have so I? Have it. you noticed me stalking you for the last week over your shoulder, watching you type? I in? thought you did look familiar. Yeah, <laughs> damn it. they're gonna know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I that was you. That was you. Yeah, you, you seem you to like it though. I mean, you were happy. So you winked at me. I was like, yeah. I like the attention. <laughs> <laughs> do you have your phone on you? I do. Indeed. Perfect. It's not tugged in, so I'm sure you do. Uh, right. Here's what you need to. Can I take this? Go for it. How comfortable are you with me holding this to the camera? So go, can go see for it. it. Yeah. That's my dog. Charlie, take a look. <laughs> Perfect, right. Don't say it, but just imagine that the, the, these numbers, the one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. seven, eight, nine, the zero are between us, okay? It looks yeah. like you have a migraine, so you can start okay. doing that. And uh, <laughs> just imagine the key, the key's there, but don't look at your phone, just look okay. at them in the air. Now, don't move your eyes. Okay. That's quite important. But think about what the first digit of your combination mm -hmm. is. Just think, don't move your eyes. It's gonna be very tempting, but don't, it's a two, isn't it? Right. Yes, two, yeah. Two, okay, so. Don't say it, but think about the second. Look back at me. So again, yeah. you can imagine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. So imagine now the second digit, and your eyes didn't move too much, but your eyes are the That's okay. So it's in the same line. So it's either going to be the, the two, the five, the eight, if it's the five. Cool. Two, five. Think about, <laughs> think about the third digit. Uh -huh. Okay. So two, five. Two. Did you choose this yourself, or yeah, is yeah. it at random, or does it mean something? Uh, it was the last four digits of my first phone number. Amazing. Oh, I don't know what that phone number is, yeah, right? Yeah. But think about the the third digit then. So again, imagine the keys. Perfect. I think it's gonna be this. And if I'm right, I won't show the camera that digit. But if I'm right, think of the last digit. Just the, and you look right down there, so it must be. <laughs> yes. Did you see that? <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh. I've also got your pin code, your deepest, darkest secret. Oh my, uh, I am, this is insane. How, how did you do that? That's the first time it's ever worked. Oh, really? <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no, there's loads of different things going oh on. Oh my the gosh. The show is designed to tap into that toolbox of, 
ideas that I've invented, ways of extracting information from people. So it's not mind reading, yeah. it's, it's reading people, right? But it looks like mind reading. It's not psychic, it's hopefully just, just good picking fun. Picking up on little twitches and things. Loads of things like yeah. that, yeah, lots going on. That is crazy. Did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> 2530, you all know that. I wasn't going to tell him that, but uh, it's also his pin code, so I know. I'll get his wallet. Yeah. I must be good if you ever find a bank card and be like, oh, money in the bank. Oh, dude, I'm I'm loaded, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this fabulous website. I know this site I mean, didn't come for free. No, <laughs> no I'll use right. my powers for good. Yeah. Except that's in the show where someone gets killed. But apart oh. from that. Totally kosher. Yeah. Totally kosher. Absolutely. That's yeah. wicked. Um, yeah. Thank you for coming. Do you have any final words of wisdom you want to nope, say? No, the show is uh, every day, 6 20 p.m. at the Pleasance Courtyard. And, uh, you know, every day is different, so come, come twice. You've heard it here. Get involved. Um, I've been Sean McDonald. Call in. Pleasure. Thanks for your time, man. Amazing. Thank you. Um, and then tune in for more episodes later. Cheers.